Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for inviting our party to participate in learning about the many important developments in your country. We bring greetings from our party's national committee, wishing you all the best in establishing socialism with Chinese characteristics. First, I'd like to inform you all that I am speaking on behalf of Rosanna Cabron, the vice chair of the Communist Party USA, who fell ill and had to return to the States. So I saw a sign in the airport while waiting for my plane that said, none of us are well until all of us are well. Building a community with a shared future for mankind can only happen with the development of socialism in the world, where we can support each other in meeting the needs of people throughout the world, where each country can share the resources, be it material, intellectual, and or special skills with those that do not have them. In my country, the United States, we face many deep and critical problems today, but we are also experiencing the birth of many new opportunities for positive change. One being the war industrial complex, one of the most powerful groupings in the world. It attempts to disrupt any formation of a socialist society. Perhaps the greatest unsolvable contradiction in capitalism today is the ever-growing income inequality between the many that produce wealth versus the few that appropriate it. Last year, the average CEO of the Fortune 500 made 361 times more than their average employee. The last 40 years have seen national productivity increase steadily. The wealth of the top 1% skyrocket and wages for the American workers stagnate or decline. Our struggle for workers' rights to a livable wage and a decent quality of life is paramount. Gender inequality continues to be on our agenda to challenge. Women still receive lower wages than men for doing the same type of work. Women, gay, lesbian, transgender communities continue to be discriminated against. Racism has been and continues to be the greatest weapon the ruling class has to divide the struggles of American people. Racism has become structural, systemic, and is clearly reflected in unemployment rates, college graduation rates, wage disparity, and especially incarceration rates. Democracy is under attack like never before with the Supreme Court ruling that corporations now have the same rights as citizens. Their follow-up on Citizens United decision also allows corporations con to contribute unlimited amounts of money to any, any political party, politician, or political campaign. That along with the gerrymandering of voting districts and voter suppression, especially against people of color, is obscene and absolutely unacceptable. Immigration in the United States has for decades been used by the ruling class as an ideological weapon. The ruling class tries to blame immigrants for the problems of shortcomings of a falling economic system. Unity and solidarity of class are of utmost importance. If we are to solve the problem of immigration, we must first be clear to address its root causes. There is nothing more urgent to both capitalist and socialist countries than addressing the issue of climate change. Yet, it's so embarrassing that our own president uh, and the, most of the Republican leaders deny that climate change even exists. If ever there was an urgent reason to transition from capitalism to socialism, it's this, this pressing issue. Capitalism and environmentalism are incompatible. For ourselves and for our future generations, the defense of Mother Earth needs to be a world movement. These problems are found in many countries and appear to be daunting and overwhelming, but the human capacity has proven to be up to the challenge. With the advancement in science and technology, we now have the capacity to solve all of these problems. The only thing standing in the way is capitalism. Therefore, we need to transition from an economic system based on constant expansion, consumption, and greed into one that is sustainable, controlled, and more humane. In closing, I would like to say that I'm very hopeful for our future. Yes, many throughout the world are living throughout very difficult times. War, poverty, pollution, and violence seems to dominate the world scene. But what gives me hope is that everywhere around the world, everywhere that I've traveled to, I've seen countless women, men and even children standing up to power, standing up for what is right. Farm workers going out on strike, demanding fair wages and working conditions, teaching 
teachers fighting for quality education for their students, soldiers and young people around the world, and balance energy engaging at all levels to create a better world. More and, pe more, and more people are understanding that our local and na national movements for peace, the environment, immigration, and socioeconomic justice must come together at an international level because these are world problems that require a world response. Today, millions of people around the world know that our lives are interlocked and our well-being is interdependent on one another. So how can our future not be right? Today, we must build a shared community of struggle that will open up the doors to building socialism worldwide. I'll end with a quote by the great revolutionary Che Guevara, who said, let's be realistic and do the impossible. Thank you. Woo.